Okay, so there has been a lot of things happen with Kinoma 3 in the past two weeks. One short trailer, one long trailer, a bunch of gameplay footage from Tokyo Game Show, and a hundreds of reaction and analysis video. Well, why not just add one more to the pile then? But I'm not gonna do anything about this chest thingy, a bunch of quick spoiler shot from the end of the trailers, or the fact that they finally revealed box art, which is really gorgeous by the way, I really like it. Also, that clock had 13 numbers, which kind of remind me a lot of Final Fantasy 13 because they will also have 26 hours per day, so maybe lightning will be- Oh, okay, I get ahead myself. The one that I want to focus on is a frozen gameplay, which although doesn't show much in terms of spectacle, like keybase transformation or any other things like that, but I think this is the first time we see a different version of Sora combo, at least in terms of Sora basic combo, and it's the clip that is long enough to analyze. Despite have been playing Kinoma 3 demo for about 2 hours, I still have a lot of questions regarding Sora basic combo. For about 99% of gameplay we got to see, Sora physical combo has always been the same. I talked about it before in Kinoma 3 demo impression video, that the combo in this game is a little bit different from other titles. Usually in other games, the combo will start with a rarely number of basic attacks and then end with one finisher move. Well, unless you talk about Kingdom Hearts 2, then god know how many finishers you can do in that game. In case 3, however, there is something in between a basic attack and a finisher. I'm gonna call it not finisher, or maybe not finishers. So what is the difference between a normal finisher and a not finisher then? A normal finisher is usually at the end of the combo, the example being one of these attacks that Sora thrusts the keyblade up into the sky and creates some AoE around him, which many people hate that for some reason. And for keybase transformation, it's usually the attack with cinematic camera. A not finisher, however, is the attack that sort of looks like finisher with long animation frame, like its claw slash and 360 combo, a hurricane period looking attack, a blitz move kind of, those sort of attack. The difference is that the not finishers is cancelable to dash and block, while the actual finisher can't. Before the Frozen gameplay, I already thought of it as a theory, because I'm still not sure about the difference between the node finisher and the basic attack yet, due to the fact that we already got to see one type of combo until now. One basic attack, two node finisher, and one finisher. All the damn time. But finally, the Frozen gameplay actually showed the different number of combo. Instead of 1-2-1 one, one combo, we got a 4-2 combo. Two basic attack and two north finishers. Okay, there might be a chance there's gonna be like one normal finisher after this, but consider how the player in this demo is a newbie, I he or she is mashing the button, and the combo ends after the second north finisher, so yeah, there's probably not any finisher after this. So it is evidence that you can modify the number of combos, so there's probably an ability like a combo plus. But this does generate a ton more question about it though. Well aside from sometimes Sora can execute like 6 or 5 basic attack before going to 2 north finishers so... Uh, what the hell? Yeah, I can't find a theory or answer for that. Like for one, are there any node finisher plus? Or does it only limit it to two? Although consider how you can turn off the finisher, that may be possible. But the other thing that confused me more is Keyblade's transformation. In terms of number of combo compared to the basic Keyblade, it's all over the freaking place. A Keyblade transformation we have seen before, like Claw, Yo-Yo, Lance, Hammer, Flag, Stab, or whatever, they all have four attack before end with the finisher. Finishers. Not sure if they follow the rules of North finishers, but it's still different compared to their base Keyblade, which like I said, have 3 attack before finishers. But when it comes to Starlight Keyblade in the Frozen gameplay, which like I said, have total of 6 attack without finishers, their transformation, the 2 gun arrow, have 3 attack and 1 finisher. Oh, and it's not stopped there. Remember second form? That thing doesn't have only 4 attack before finishers, that thing have 3 basic attack, 2 North finisher, and then 5 Finally one finishers. How the hell does the ability in this game work? Does the form have a fixed amount of combo? Does they have a separate ability slot? Or maybe better yet, each of 3 Keyblade and Transformation have their own ability slot? Okay, maybe let's go too far. But wouldn't that be cool, man? Anyway, let's go to other questions. Like, are there gonna be any combo modifiers? Consider how we saw the same animation in every gameplay. Yeah, personally, I'm a bit convinced that it's not going to be returned. Well, maybe aside from Goofy Ling Attack combo, which is really cool. Right now I feel like the base Sora combo already get the job done. 
The basic attack is quick and responsive enough, especially in mid-air, and there's a decent variety for solar moveset to hit the enemy for different situations, well maybe except if the enemy is under Sora, cause he gonna keep using that overhead slash, which Sora will usually use if enemy is far away from him. What I think is different from other Kingdom Hearts game here, where sometimes Sora will prioritize using the attack that will hit the enemy instead of using the different attack from the previous one. I don't know, this is like a minor part of the code logic, so they may be, maybe not change it later. Or better yet, just make more move for Sora to hit enemy below him. Also, there's some question from other people regarding the ability like horizontal slash or rising slash. You know, the move that you square button during the combo. Which I kinda question those people though. Do you guys forgot that square button is already mapped to a dodge and block button? I mean, dude, you can cancel that other combo and it's been like that since Bird by Sleep, man. Again, unless they do something like the analog stick combined with the attack button, or pause the attack button for different combo like Del May Cry, those kind of alternate attack is probably not here. But hey, in a magic launcher, you can also shoot projectile with R2 buttons, so maybe they can use that button instead? I don't know, personally, this game already have a lot of ability to play with, so I don't have problem with that. Yeah, I think that's all I can get about combo in the Tokyo Game Show gameplay. There's some topic I really want to save for all the bigger video, like for the combat and revenge value. So yeah, until then, see you next time. Whatever that is.